Hey everybody, Sasha with Goalie. Today I'm reviewing Skylight Calendar. It's a little different than what I normally review. Usually you see me do tablets and really like, you know, that's it, tablets. This thing is like a giant picture frame, but it's actually a tablet and it's a calendar tablet thingy. I'm gonna check it out, let you know if I think it's worth it. Ah! Skylight, here we go. I'm gonna put this nice little brochure here and explain what this thing is. It's a big tablet, like literally, I don't know, like 50% bigger than the biggest iPad. This thing's big and is made to sit on top of a desk. In fact, it's got this like big metal, can you hear that? Bing, bing, bing. It's got this like iron backer here to actually make it so that it's like not easy to move. You don't want it sliding around on a countertop. So I don't know, it weighs like four or five pounds. It looks cool. It looks like a picture frame or like a small TV. And um, while we've been looking at it, we synced it up with my phone. I downloaded their app and synced it up with my personal email account. And honestly, it was pretty easy. Like I don't, I didn't really get stumbled up. Now throughout this process, I've been wondering who's this thing for? Like who's their target customer? And at Goalie, we make you know, calendars basically for kids, like calendar and chore charts for kids. And there's all sorts of motivation. We're like, you know, this looks really clean. It's big. I can, I, it's almost feels kid friendly, but it's not quite for kids. And what we realized just like looking at their marketing is this is actually for seniors. It's not for kids. And once we kind of like shifted our mindset into thinking about that, everything kind of clicked into place. This thing is a great product. I'd buy it for my grandparents. Like I, I think this is a great holiday gift for grandma and grandpa. Before we get too deep into the details, let's talk about the money side of things. Cha-ching! We bought this thing on Amazon for 320 bucks, and that includes this screen, which is almost 16 inches across. So this is like a big laptop screen, and it's got that big metal frame in the back to keep it from sliding around in the power supply. So that was what it was included in the box. It looks like a small TV or a picture frame, right? So it belongs on a countertop, 320 bucks. You know, it's priced like a nice small TV. That's the truth. Like at Costco, a small TV costs about that much. Now, as with any hardware, how it works is dependent on the software. So they've got some software lock stuff, and then they've got software that works out of the box. Out of the box, they've got two features. One is a big calendar. It syncs up with my Google Calendar. I have to download an app and I do that. And then it's got this chore chart and it's like really basic, right? Like you, you, you key in a chore and then it shows up on a list. But to be honest, the chore chart kind of looks like a calendar app too. If you wanna turn this thing into a big picture gallery that shows, um, I don't know, like your grandkids, then um, you spend 40 bucks a year for the software upgrade. So for 40 bucks a year, you drop these photos into the cloud and then that syncs up with this thing and it'll scroll through your photos. Again, who's it for? Probably not something I want at my house, but I could totally see my grandparents loving it. <laughs> and that's what we mean. It took us like a little bit to understand who's this for? Once we got it, we're like, yes. This is a cool product for them. Aesthetically, I think this thing looks nice. Honestly, like I think that this is a good looking product. The biggest challenge that I would have with it is figuring out the cord. So, I mean, the cord is really well hidden in their photos. You know, it's like really neatly attached to the wall in a perfectly straight line. In reality, that's a little bit harder. And if I could mount this perfectly, I would sink an outlet deeper into the wall and then cover this up. So you see a lot of people doing that with Samsung frame TVs. You see people doing that with small artsy displays. It's not gonna look that clean unless you can get rid of the cord. So if you're OCD or if your grandparents are like meticulous about having a perfectly clean countertop, if that's the look you're going for, plan ahead, spend some money on sinking in an electrical outlet for where you wanna put this and mount it on the wall. As far as a product review, I mean, honestly, this is a little bit simpler than our other product reviews because there's not a lot of features here. It's not supposed to have a lot of features. It's basically supposed to be a calendar, a really big calendar. So if you're someone that doesn't like opening up your phone and looking at your calendar there, and you prefer to have one hub, maybe you're a family and you wanna have like a shared calendar that everyone can access and see, then this seems really cool. It's simple to set up. It's not crazy expensive, but it's not cheap either. And I think it's really functional. Zach, what's their warranty? I think 120 days. All right, so their warranty is three months. So, you know, you're gonna have to be kind of careful with that. And candidly, that's not a great warranty. We haven't tested it for that long to tell you, will the screen stay the way it is for more than three months? At Goalie, we do a year warranty, and you'll see that that's more common for consumer electronics. So I'm bummed 
that they only have a three month warranty on this thing. And that's partly what also makes me think this isn't really a product for kids. It's big, it's heavy. If this makes a tumble, it's probably not recovering. And it's for someone that's probably a neat freak. <laughs> because it's white, you know? Like, I don't know how well I would deal with fingerprints on this thing. You're gonna wanna wipe it down regularly because it's a big, fat, visible screen. All right, so I guess that's a good time for me to plug Goalie. If you're looking for a calendar that's good for kids, this is a Goalie. It's rugged, you could throw this thing across a room. It's got games, it's got rewards. It's got lots of things to keep a kid engaged and lots of parent controls to make sure they don't go crazy. Goalie takes it quite a bit further with parent controls and with visuals and audio aids, because a lot of kids need to see the thing that they need to do. Instead of saying, clean your room and give you a list of things, in Goalie you can give visuals with timers for each of those individual activities. And it travels well. It doesn't sit on a countertop. You can move it around with you, you can take it to your bedroom, you can take it to your bathroom. It goes where your kid needs to go. That's Goalie. If that sounds like something you're looking for, check us out at getgoalie.com. All right, so what's the final review? What's the word on Skylight? I think this is a cool product. I think if you're looking for something like this, if you're an adult that's looking for something like this where you can do a quick peek at what's your calendar looking like or if you've got grandma, grandpa and you know, they're struggling pulling out their phone, this is a cool product. It's kind of premium, right? Because you're gonna spend over $300 buying the tablet itself and then if you wanna sink it into the wall, install it nicely, probably gonna spend a couple hundred dollars more. But if you're thinking about an iPad or something like that, you know, it's comparable. It's a premium product like an iPad. If you're considering this as a thing to keep your kid organized, maybe it could work for older kids. I'm not sure that I would use this for younger kids or kids that need a lot more direction because it's stationary. It's not gonna move with your kid. And if your kid tries to move it, eh, you're gonna be buying a new one. <laughs> for what this thing is, I like it. I give it four out of five penguins.